this is Keith with McCormack Performance Fitness and Holistic Lifestyle Coaching. And I want to take a little time to send this message and uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Let's talk about exercise and in particular um, something that's been going on over the past uh, few years. When it comes to exercise is the focus has really shifted more towards, hey, you need to exercise so you can lose weight. And that's something that's really been touted for years now with exercise, when truly the focus should probably be more so on really what we're gaining out of exercise, and that's really the numerous health benefits that we're looking for. Which leads me to what we're going to talk about right now, which is uh, an area of the body that we really don't focus on that much, but is vitally important. And exercise is so crucial for this area of our health. And what we're going to talk about is the lymphatic system. So uh, I guess the easiest way to think about the lymphatic system is it's somewhat our secondary circulatory system. So I heard a doctor basically say that, uh, and this is a pretty good description I think, that you can think of our lymphatic system as the drains and then our blood circulatory system as the faucets. So, one of the deals with the lymphatic system is it's so important, um, basically because what we think of as lymph is a clear fluid that's in our body that basically is uh, pushed into every cell that makes up all the tissue in our body. And what the lymphatic system does is uh, it's responsible for basically cleaning this tissue. So it's going to remove uh, pathogens, toxins, bacterial, um, waste, even just normal cellular waste out of these tissue spaces. And if that doesn't work properly, then we are in for a load of trouble and things on down the line that can lead to numerous diseases and a lot of the things that we see with people who get sick in their lifetime. So, um, you know, you can just imagine if you have this uh, fluid that's filling up the cellular space and is not washed out properly through every single cell, you're going to have retained fluid in your system. And like what we just talked about, you're going to have fluid in these cells that is composed of basically a lot of cellular waste and toxins. So you might be wondering right now, well, what the heck do I do to ensure that I have a lymphatic system that's working properly? The easiest thing that we can do to make sure that our lymphatic system is working properly is exercise, move our body. Here's the thing about the lymphatic system. The circulatory system, the blood circulatory system, gets to rely on the pumping mechanism of this big muscle that's in our chest, the heart, to push blood around throughout the body. Unfortunately, the lymphatic system doesn't have that same benefit, so the easiest thing that it relies upon to pump this lymph throughout tissue is going to be you moving your muscle tissue and having that pump that tissue to every single cell in the body, okay? If that's not happening, you're going to have retained fluid in there and it's going to be thickened, or th thickened fluid that's in the cells. It's just not good. So the easiest thing you can do is you can exercise. Walking, that's beneficial. Any kind of bouncing exercise you, you can do, if you have one of these little mini trampoline, these rebounders, getting on that, that's extremely beneficial. That's number one. The second thing that you can do is you can eat some raw fruits and vegetables. Three things you can easily do, incorporate beets into your diet, um, cherries, um, multiple berries that you can eat. And one of these things that is so easy for us to overlook that we're not doing is drink plenty of water each day. You know, if you weigh 160 pounds, you should be getting at least 80 fluid ounces of water in a daytime. If you're exercising, you need to get more. But obviously, you need to be hydrated so that that lymph fluid can efficiently flow through your body. And, you know, I talk about the lymphatic system and the fact that it removes these things out of the cellular spaces, what we're really talking about here is your immune system. So these B cell lymphocytes, <clears throat> natural killer cells, these very vital um, cells in our body that are designed to protect us. So 
do your immune system a favor and let's eat raw fruits and vegetables to stimulate our lymphatic system. Let's move our body with exercise, even if you're going to walk around the neighborhood, and let's drink plenty of water. All right, I've given you plenty of info. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.